scientists have finally caught a picture of one of the biggest blasts in recent history after waiting for decades. Luckily for us, this event didn't happen on Earth. Instead, it happened in one of our neighbor galaxies, 120 million light years away. The event is called a supernova, and experts didn't know much about it for a long time because they had never seen one happen. That all changed not long ago when they saw the first supernova explosion, which was both historic and truly amazing. Therefore, what did scientists see when they saw this one-of-a-kind event? How big did it get? This is more important. How could a supernova explosion affect Earth? A supernova is the explosion of a star that has reached the end of its life. Supernovae are very strong events that can light up whole galaxies and give off more energy in a second than our sun will make in its whole life. But supernovae are more than just explosions. They are also the main source of heavy materials in the world. NASA says that supernovae are the biggest blasts that can happen in space. People have been studying these stellar events for many generations. In fact, civilizations knew about supernovae long before the telescope was invented. Chinese scientists found RCW 86, the oldest known supernova, in the year 185 AD. NASA thinks that for eight months, people on Earth could see the supernova in the night sky. The Encyclopedia Britannica says that before the early 1600s, only seven supernovae had been seen. In fact, scientists Walter Body and Fritz Zwicky didn't come up with the word supernova until the 1930s when they saw a blast in the Andromeda galaxy. When supernovae happen, they send debris and gas into space. People have seen these things, but they were only seen after the explosion. That changed in the summer of 2020. In its last days, scientists were able to see the full life cycle of a red supergiant for the first time. They even saw its huge explosion as it turned into a supernova. A group of scientists from Northwestern University and the University of California, Berkeley, used the Pan-STARRS telescope on top of Maui, Hawaii's Haleakala volcano, to make this amazing find. They wanted to learn more about two kinds of supernovae. Type 1 supernovas happen when a star gathers matter from nearby stars until a nuclear reaction goes out of control and starts a supernova. Type 2 supernovas happen when a star runs out of nuclear fuel and falls apart because of its own weight. The team found the massive dying star because it was giving off so much light while they were looking at a certain part of the sky. They quickly realized they had found something very important an unstable star that was about to explode. This red supergiant star was much bigger than anything that had been seen before. The group found that it was about 120 million light years away in a galaxy called NGC 5731 and had about 10 times the mass of the Sun. Researchers were able to watch the star's last 130 days before its amazing explosion thanks to new technology and studies of the star's area that were based on old records. Researchers were able to see the last few months of a star's life and its ultimate explosion, which was a big deal. The researchers paid close attention to the star's immediate surroundings, watching how it acted in its last days and the specifics of how the supernova happened. Astronomers now have a much better understanding of what happens before a supernova, a cosmic event that has long been a mystery, thanks to a find that shows the whole life cycle of a star, from its dying stages to its explosive end. Because of the information this amazing event gave them, scientists were especially interested in what the star did in the four months before it exploded. During this time, they realized that the area was giving off more light, before this supernova, called SN 2020 TLF, there was no evidence that red supergiants behave differently before they explode. However, this supernova showed that some of these stars may do show warning signs before they explode. Astronomers said it looked like they were watching a time bomb go off. The study's lead author, Jacobson Galan, a National Science Foundation graduate research fellow at the University of California, Berkeley, was shocked by what they saw. He said, this is a big step forward in our knowledge of what huge stars do right before they die. 
In a normal Type 2 supernova, it has never been possible to directly see action before a supernova in a red supergiant star. It was the first time we saw a red supergiant star blow up. Even though seeing the supernova was a beautiful event, the team saw more than just the huge explosion that meant the star was dying. Scientists kept an eye on the supernova after it went off and learned more about how red supergiants behave, which called into question old ideas about how these stars change before they explode. Before this finding, all red supergiants that had been seen before they exploded were pretty quiet, with no signs of eruptions or large amounts of energy being released. However, the discovery of bright radiation coming from a red supergiant in the year before it exploded shows that at least some of these stars go through major changes in their internal structure that cause gas to be thrown out just before they explode. Scientists will learn a lot from seeing this first supernova, but it also brings up a lot of questions that need to be answered. Jacobson Gallen talked about how this supernova opens up new study areas. He said, I am most excited by all the new unknowns that this discovery has opened up. Finding more events like this will have a big effect on how we think about the last few months of stellar evolution. This will bring together observers and thinkers in their quest to figure out how massive stars spend their last moments. Very few things happen that are called supernovae. This is because the world is so big and not all stars can end their lives in this way. Still, these supernova events in space make me wonder what would happen if our own sun went supernova. Scientists here on Earth would not understand why the sun would go supernova since we know it is not big enough to do so. For this to happen, the star must have at least eight times the mass of the sun. But if the sun did explode in some way, the damage would be terrible. The explosion's powerful radiation would instantly remove Earth's ozone layer putting all living things at risk of dying from radiation. Skin cancer rates would go through the roof, and hospitals would be full to the brim. All living things would get radiation burns, and those who hid underground or in protective gear would only be safe for a short time. Those effects would not bother us at all, though. When the blast happened, the Earth's surface started to boil away at thousands of meters per second. This made the Earth 15 times hotter than the sun's surface. In an instant, life as we know it would end. Thank goodness we don't have to worry about our sun going supernova. Because of where we are in the world, such a terrible event can't happen to us. That doesn't mean, though, that there aren't other scary things happening in our world. For more scary things happening in space this year, click the movie on your screen if you like this episode. I'll see you there.